guys, there are some crazy text messages that you are about to see exposing Phil. Hi James, you are awesome and could have been a male model. Agreed. What can I do to grow my channel? Reach out to Kenny KO, the realist in the game. The guy who photoshops his pictures. Yep, the realist in the game. And yes, they are photoshopped. I'll just drop a comment under his video. That may be problematic. So if you didn't get that reference, it's from Fillion's destruction of Kenny KO, where Kenny did allegedly fabricate some text messages between the two. Kenny's response video was about as fractured as a Paul Pogba penalty. So on first glance, Fillion's channel looks like a man sat in his bedroom making videos about guys with their shirts off. However, his channel is extremely important for many people. Specifically, younger people or new people getting into fitness who may fall for many of the mistruths that are commonly told within popular social media fitness circles. We're always around Instagram pictures, Facebook videos, advertisements. It's 100% a false reality and so many people think that these results are possible. They're not. No one takes the time to go into the gym year after year and just grind and see how hard it actually is. If you guys are new to the gym, working out and fitness, I encourage everyone to go to the gym for four years and then come back to me with a written report on what is achievable naturally. And introducing some of the people that Fillion critiques. David laid Carlton Loth. That came out wrong. Jeff Said, Said, Seed, Side. Let's just call him Jeff. Quinn Vitali Klitschko. Anomi Egger. Azuma Obilor. Cornelius Masterson. These cannot be real names. Is this the cast for the next Avengers movie? It goes my Gymshark sponsorship, but Gymshark just wait, wait. This is what you're missing out on. <laughs> just sleep on it. And so the theme of Fillion's fitness videos is whether or not certain people are on the old juicy vitamins. And whilst this is something that I'm not particularly interested in because it's blatantly obvious what many people are doing, his videos do serve a really important purpose because it can help people just coming into fitness to, to perhaps not idolize and create a false reality which they then don't achieve which can affect their adherence and so i fully understand why Fillion makes these videos which are coming from a good place of honesty 655 deadlift i mean that has to break some type of record for his age and weight class i mean you're not even peaked for like a powerlifting or strength meet you just walk into the gym oh i'm in a smurf outfit and smoke 655 pounds <laughs> possible I can't wait to become an influencer I'm going to influence so many people and he is hilarious and he does have a good fitness knowledge base and a common misunderstanding with any channel like this a critique channel which uses comedy it's that this guy doesn't have give any fitness information which is not correct I mean his 405 squat stayed the same for about a year his bench press stayed the same he couldn't even bench 315 anymore and then out of, out of the blue, out of nowhere, he's just smashing all these plateaus, not by like five or 10 pounds, but like seriously breaking plateaus, like exploding in strength. If you guys have worked out for, you know, two, three, four years, whatever it may be, you would know that it gets increasingly harder to build muscle and strength. This is the principle of diminishing returns. The more you progress, the harder it becomes. You can't just keep making all these gains. Like you hit brick walls and then you get these small incremental increases. And actually it's through his comedy and satire that he's giving the fitness information, but in a subtle manner, a more intricate way. What bothers me is that he's an elite level bodybuilder and is claiming natural at the same time. I stopped believing in the Easter Bunny about two weeks ago, and my God, it has been a real relief off my chest. I'm genuinely curious as to where the muscle would go. I mean, here you have it guys, 14 years of lifting and you can look like a triceratops. And it would be very hard for these types of channels to be successful, to be funny, if they did not have an understanding of fitness information. His information underlies his video. Eight months into lifting, Cornelius hits a 405 squat. November, we get a 295 bench press. You guys can form all your opinions about the people I make these videos on, but this is right in your face. You literally can't argue this progression. It makes zero sense. So you're telling me everyone in New Jersey has these revolutionary workout plans that get them as big as possible in the least amount of time? 
and that you could just keep putting on pounds and pounds of muscle without gaining any body fat. Everyone in New Jersey must just have the best genetics. And so channels like his are much needed to give a balance, an equilibrium, or a homeostasis, if you like, to, to fitness content. The only way he could stay relevant is to just say don't that has no scientific backing whatsoever. And, and you can kind of think of him like Kenny KO, but actually funny and with his own content. Luckily enough, I have an unnamed source that leaked a video of Bradley defying physics and running at the speed of light. Now I slowed it down for you guys, but I urge you not to blink because you might miss it. And also for people who say that channels like this or videos such as his don't make a difference, they absolutely do. And this applies to other people as well. I guarantee you will not see the other X channel make more belly fat videos. We're seeing people like Vshred now who used to say things like this. Most important time to take protein is post-workout. When you don't get protein post-workout, it's going to take the next best thing, break down the muscle, and you're basically gonna be working backwards. Now saying things like this. You don't need to be having protein at specific times throughout the day. As long as you're getting your protein intake by the end of the day, you're going to be fine. These critique videos by knowledgeable fitness people Regardless of how they deliver the information, if it's straight factual information or if it's based through comedy, they are keeping popular fitness social media figures responsible and actually educating them. And without doubt, some of these popular personalities are having to go away, rethink what they're saying, actually study the material, and now they're projecting better information. Channels such as Filion do make a big difference. And also, another common misconception is these guys are just criticizing people when actually they're not. When they see people who they believe are making a positive, honest contribution to the fitness community, they will support them, such as this video about Ian Lu from Filion. And I think we can all learn something from that because this is just an example of a natural who has been training for over a decade, who is at the peak of strength and performance. Here is a 650 pound conventional deadlift. Because a lot of you guys are used to seeing these fake naturals. 650 pound deadlift is incredible. This is beautiful. This is like an abstract art piece. Look at the mise-en-scene in the scene. Where is he? Like a stone temple? Is this a Zelda level? It's this commonality between all these channels that when people are naturally embracing the grind and giving good, honest fitness information, motivation, or whatever it may be, that support is given to these people. And the way he makes his videos takes real intelligence. The one-liners, the quick editing. It is absolutely hilarious what he does. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I went and worked hard. I started doing my cardio with no hands. Did you hear that, guys? Take your hands off the cardio machine and you'll look like Uzoma Obolor. You're supposed to do cardio with no hands. You're Running. And here's the thing, people love his videos until he criticizes their idol or if they are that person, they get so upset by it and they make these responses which shows their fragility. And Philion or Feline, however you say your name, you're going to regret this. Which is kind of ridiculous considering when you put a video on YouTube, it's there for the public to support or criticize, to like or dislike. You cannot just make videos expecting everybody to love what you do and then be so fragile when people actually critique what you do. That the third eye of truth will summon you. Wow, what? He basically just said, when the third eye of truth summons me, I am allowed to speak, bro. Considering I'm getting like more views than you, maybe I could take you to school. And the I get more views than you response is, a, is as about as cringeworthy as it gets. And so really there's no scientific critique to this video. This is a bit of light relief, but I wanted to project to you again how important certain videos, which may be misconceived as just making fun of people pointlessly when actually they're not. They're deeply thought through videos. They're projecting fitness information, perhaps in an indirect way, but they are projecting fitness information. And this comedy points out how silly some of the content that is projected to the masses is. And so I'm James Linker, Shredder Sports Science. I'll see you soon. Our boy Corn must have some revolutionary content or some extreme value that he's bringing to the table. I mean, how can someone amass such a big following in such a short amount of time? Let's take a look at his content. Oh, this video looks interesting. 100 rep bench challenge with a twist. Let's see if it passes the 10 minute ad revenue test.
Nope. Is that the twist, my guy? Is the f***ing twist? At least put a call to action at the end. Like, you're just giving me a black screen to get it to 10 minutes. At least put subscribe, last video. Alright, alright.